Okay, Nick Batch here yet again, going on uh, through my continuing experiment, looking at the principles of Wiccan belief. This is my third video in this particular series, and we're now looking at the second principle of Wiccan belief. And it says here, we recognize that our intelligence gives us a unique responsibility toward our environment. We seek to live in harmony with nature in ecological balance, offering fulfillment to life and consciousness within an evo evolutionary concept. There's quite a few ideas there. Firstly, we recognize that our intelligence gives us a unique responsibility towards our environment. Okay, so there's a good, positive environmental bias. That's, that also resonates very strongly with myself. Uh, when, you know, when the weather's good, I use things like wood pellet fuel so I can cook carbon neutral or carbon negative. Um, I try and cut down my use of power to the best of my ability and still try and live, you know, I do my recycling. Um, I'm very keen towards trying to live in ecological balance already. However, living totally carbon negative or living totally carbon neutral is in fact very difficult. Um, but lowering my carbon footprint to the best of my ability, that's something which I feel I can do. All right. The second part says, we seek to live in harmony with nature in ecological balance. Um, the fact that it says we seek to live in harmony doesn't say, mean to say we're doing it already. You know, that, that can be the goal. Um, anyone like myself who's already got some kind of environmental concern would see that as being a, a very good, very positive thing for all the rest of us in, in humanity. But we're not there yet. It then says, offering fulfillment to life and consciousness within an evolutionary concept. Hmm. Well, fulfillment's a bit of um, a bit of a woolly term. You can become more and more fulfilled through doing things you like, doing things you enjoy, becoming what you've always wanted to be, or finding out what your true nature is, as in Thelema, um, and trying to live that life. And consciousness within an evolutionary concept. Uh, I suppose I must be talking about two things. Firstly, accepting evolution is real. And secondly, talking about full consciousness within an evolutionary concept would be talking about personal growth and development. So whatever you are now is not what you're going to be in five years' time or ten years' time. It's accepting change. So this is something else that um, I can, you know, I can tick that box. The second principle of Wiccan belief I can agree with as a great goal because the word here is we seek. It doesn't say we must be like this now. Um, and because of that, that's, um, that's again a very positive, very, you know, uh, idealistic statement talking about, you know, the long term goal, the game plan to become more ecologically balanced. You know, that's, that, that's nice. That's good. Um, I can say that you know I'm I'm in very strong agreement with number two. And it's also talking about our intelligence, which would also suggest that you know it's our goal and responsibility as humans not only to use our intelligence but also to try and increase it with more intellectual stimulation, more you know more study, finding things out, not staying within a, you know a rigid construct or constraints of ideas. So that we can increase our responsibility, which is also very, you know, very good. It's not saying this is what you are, you know. It's not, it's not cookie cutter thinking. It's not like going into Scientology and saying like, boom, this is what you've got to be. That's, um, it is, you know, it's, it's talking about growth. It's not necessarily that the growth comes from the religion. No. <clears throat> It's talking about a goal for the individuals and, and for the society. So that's, um, that's also very good and very positive. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, I'll stop the camera again and we'll go on to number three. Just a moment, please.